guys, welcome back. Today is Wednesday the 18th, right? Yes. It's 12.20 and I'm about to go out. I don't know what that accent was. I'm about to go out and do a little bit of shopping for groceries for Christmas and just some general groceries. I have to get kitty food and My cat is currently over in her little hot cocoa cafe. Loki, are you in the cafe? Say hi. Anyway, um, so I actually have to leave the house today. I actually have to work. One of my parents said that they want to withdraw their student and they want to start them in school today. which makes no sense to me, but whatever. So even though it's my break, I do have to take care of that. What can you do? So I'm going to, I have to make a grocery list because I still don't know. We're going to get some drinks. I just, I'm not sure what my husband, what kind of drinks he wants. So I think he just wants Christmassy drinks. So I'm going to go look at our liquor cabinet and see what we have. Because I really don't want to buy more liquor. Um, I did buy some Baileys though, because that's always my Christmas drink. And then I need to like create like a general shopping list. So, and since we won't be able to shop until after Christmas again, I need to count all that up. So I need to, basically once I'm done with this, I'm going to find some recipes, find some Christmas drink recipes, and get a whole shopping list. Because I started to learn that I need to do that before I go to the grocery store. Otherwise, I end up getting a lot of meat entrees, not really any sides, and it turns into a big mess. So <laughs> Anyway, going to do that. But I do have some good news on Magical Stitches. My homework is done and I finished up another extra credit. So I have four extra credits left plus the movie, but I'm, I might do the movie actually because these stitches are hard to count because we're in the back stitching people. I started it last night doing this purple color over here that lighter purple. The back stitching actually, this back stitching, just to specify which one, because we all know that back stitching was a butt. Um, but this back stitching actually goes pretty fast because it's literally just lines, pretty much up and down her dress. So I do them in long stitches. But let's face it, I am not doing every stitch for that. Uh oh. So mostly it's just counting down based off of the previous. And I messed up at first just because I was counting, I was trying to count, you know, because it's a lot of the same color. I tried to count from here up and I was counting like the rows of quarter stitches and I thought there was supposed to be seven up, but there was actually supposed to be six. So I got like the first row of, so what I'm doing is I'm basically... So I started over here and I would go down and then I would come up to the next part. So I'm, I'm basically going back and forth like this instead of like going all the way down and then all the way up just because it helps save some thread a little bit because I'm not like, here I'll show you the back. Because I'm basically just going over to the next one. I'm not doing like for the most part, like one long stitch like that one. And that's just because I had to for that one. So otherwise the back would basically just be long stitches all the way. So it helps me save some thread. But I finished up the purple. Well, back stitch is kind of weird because so I finished up the purple here and I'm starting to go back up because there is some in this section, but I missed it or I didn't miss it, but it like continues down here. But there's like a different color in between. So kind of weird with how it's done. So it's kind of hard to like create a pattern, but 
So basically what I used for the homework, I didn't count any of these long stitches, but I finished up the entire bottom of the cross stitches. So I put in, this ended up being about, and I did all this yesterday. This whole middle ended up being about 750 stitches, I think. Yeah, I think that's about right. And then the sides ended up being 500. So I was able to get a lot of that done. And I'm going to continue the back stitch today. Hopefully I can get the back stitch done. For the rest of her dress, I think there's two colors and then the outline color. Like the whole outline, like the darker, like around her sleeve. Um, so it's basically three colors. It's actually two colors, but one of them for the, the dark outline, um, you just use three strands of one of the same colors instead of one. So going to do that. And then the beading, the beading is going to take a while. I don't like beading and there's tiny, tiny, tiny petite beads. So that is going to take a long time because there are a lot of them in the bottom of her dress but I'm still hopeful for a end of the year finish. So we'll see how far I get. Um, she doesn't really fit into any more extra credits, but I can still use her, like I said, for the movies, which there's two of them. So I might do that because that way I don't have to count stitches. You literally just take a picture before you start with the movie. And then at the end of the movie, you take another picture. So, We'll see, I might do that. Um, these movies are not my favorite, but oh well, they'll be entertaining. I haven't been watching a whole lot of Christmas movies. We need to get on that because it's getting close. But anyway, so that's all I have for you guys. And she's basically all I worked on because I worked on her hardcore. And hopefully I get done pretty early from my shopping and stuff and I can finish up. Like I said, it's only 12.30 and it's a Wednesday, so grocery store shouldn't be very busy at all. Um, yeah, so gotta do the worst part, which is finding recipes. But other than that, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Hi guys, welcome back. Today is Thursday the 19th. It is about 12.15 and I'm about ready to start stitching again. So yesterday I finished up all of the purple back stitching, which is mostly that. It's all of these two sides, these two bits, and this outside part. Then I did some of the red stitching, which was the outside of her cloak right here. All of this inside here, which it is hard to see because the colors are very similar, but you can kind of see that. And so all I have left in the red is this middle section right here, which does have some folds and stuff in it. So it'll take a little bit of time. And then I have the whole outside border in the three strands of the red. But that'll be pretty easy because it's mostly just following along. Um, there's not a whole lot of counting with it. And then down here, there's it puts a couple of folds in her skirt as well. So she is coming along. So after this, I just have the beading. And to frame her up. I am hopeful that I can get her done before the end of the year. I'm not counting any of these stitches right now. I'm just stitching for the fun of it. Especially because it is hard counting back stitches, I think. But anyway, I'm gonna stitch for a couple of hours. We're gonna go see Star Wars tonight. So I've got my Star Wars shirt on. It's at 9.40, so it is pretty late at least for me, but we already bought our tickets months ago. 
I think it was months. Definitely more than a month. Um, and I forgot to make dinner this morning to put in the crock pot for the high setting. So I'm going to cook it on low. But I still have a couple of hours until I need to put that in. Because it needs to either be on eight hours high or four hours low. And my husband usually gets around, gets home around six and I don't want to wait till eight to eat. So yeah, I'm going to stitch for about an hour, hour and a half and then go make some dinner. I have either cowboy chili or chicken and noodles. So probably going to go with cowboy chili, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm basically just going to stitch for the rest of the day and then I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, and I got... So my husband got me this Christmas candle last year. And I didn't realize it, but it's got wooden wicks. So I don't know if you can hear that. But it crackles. It's actually pretty loud in person. And when we were eating dinner last night, I kept thinking it was rain. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. I like it. Apparently he got it at, I think they sell them at Target and Walmart, but they're not actually very expensive for candles. And it's definitely fun to listen to. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Friday. Friday, the 20th. It is about 1230 in the afternoon. The movie was good. I wish something was different at the end, but I enjoyed it. That's all I'm going to say. No spoilers. And she's done. She's washed. So I actually, I did not think she'd be done today. I thought I still had another, I don't even know how long probably another couple of days on it but no she the back stitching ended up not taking very long the beads took even less time than I thought the back stitch will I so basically what happened is I put in everything all the beads finished up all the back stitch Made sure I was reading the pattern to put the beads where they're supposed to go because holy crap there's also those gold beads in her skirt um because I know when I was stitching that I had missed a couple of spots so I wanted to make sure I got all the beads that were supposed to be on there oh mother trucker give me just a second To fix something really quick that I literally just messed up. There we go. So then I washed her and I had about an hour before the movie started so I gave her a wash Rolled her up in a towel to dry. She's still a little bit wrinkled, but that's okay. Once she's stretched out for the frame, um, it'll fix all that. And of course, all the back stitching came loose. Not all of it, but. So I spent, like after I dried her off in the towel and stuff, I spent the rest of that hour just going through and straightening up all the back stitch on the back. So there's still maybe a spot or two that I need to fix, but I can't do that really until she gets framed, which will be soon. Um, but of course it's going to get jostled around and stuff until like as I'm framing it. So my last thing is to always go back and tighten up the back stitch, but it should like once it's stretched, it should straighten out a lot of those longer straight lines. And then I realized that I forgot to sign it. So I just spent the last half hour or so 
putting my name and date on there. It's longer than I wanted it to be because I was thinking over one, but the over one on 36 count just was way too small. So I should have started it further over that way, but that's fine. But yeah. I don't know what else to say except she's gorgeous. I love her and I'm excited to get her on my wall. Which I might do today, but I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Well, sort of a break. I'm going to stitch something else. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just gonna scroll through this giant piece. I'm gonna go get lunch in a second. If you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but my stomach's growling. Even though these parts were a pain with all the quarter stitches, I really love how the skirt turned out. And then I'd forgotten last night as well to pull out the one line of gritting that I had put in her. So I remembered to do that because it had gotten lost on the bottom with all the stitching. So it wasn't until I looked at the top and I was like, oh yeah, oops. That took actually a little bit longer to pull out than I thought, but nothing bad. I just had to cut it in a few places. So anyway, she's done. I will show you her again once she is in the frame and I already know where I'm putting. Well, I think I know where I'm going to put her. We have a Disney wall that's above my husband's desk. So she might go there, but I think he doesn't want her there. So she'll go in my craft room. To be joined by the other 11 or 12. I think I'm up to, I think I'm up to 13 princesses now. Yeah. So anyway, today I'm going to maybe stitch on, I don't know, I gotta figure it out. I might stitch on fairy tale because I know I have an extra credit homework to do for that. Otherwise, I have to go through my stash and look to see, or not my stash, but my started projects to see what I have that will work for the other extra credits. Which is kind of hard. I need like a remembrance piece for the characters. I need something that celebrates a wedding, which I do have something for that actually, and that one will be easy to do. And I forget what the other one is, but anyway, like I said, I didn't count any of those stitches. I didn't count the beads. I was just enjoying myself last night and I'm super, super happy. So there you go, Melissa, cupcake stitcher. Got to finish up yours now. And also Jamie, got to get working on yours. So I think I'm going to start Cinderella next. I think she's going to be my new year, new start. But I'm not doing no new starts next year. Next year is going to be super chill. Just stitch on what I want. Well, George obviously has to make a big appearance. But other than that, I'm not worrying about like, I am going to try to curb my spending next year just because we need to. Our credit cards are still pretty much maxed out. We will pay some of them off when my husband gets his bonus. Um, but part of the bonus is going to go for saving up three months of rent, which we had to use when I lost my job in May. So half of his bonus is going to go for that and the other half will go to pay off some of our cards. So yeah, trying to spend less next year, but I'm not saying no new spending, because let's face it, I don't have enough charts. I have enough charts. But we'll see where I get to. I still have to buy the other, like I, ha I am a completionist, so I have to get all of the Santa's Christmas Courier charts. I have like 
I think I have four or five out of the 13 because there's no not 13 nine no ten ten charts eight reindeer plus Rudolph and the sleigh so so I do have to get those and I do want to pick up the is it country cottage it's one of the Christmas village series um it's the one that Christine Stitch All the Things is working on. I do want to get those. But they're very sporadic on 123 Stitch. Like, they don't have the full collection ever. So, I need to go through and figure out which ones they have and do those. But other than that, I'm not planning on much spending. I am very intrigued by the new Ingleside Imaginarium Sal. I haven't bought it yet, but I am intrigued by it. I thought about the Chopping Mall. But I'm definitely more of a classic horror movie fan. I don't like modern horror movies, so it's been fun to watch everybody stitch on that, but it's not something I'm really interested in. And... But yeah, so far, I don't have any cells next year that I'm needing to stitch. I do want to get started on the new Harry Potter one, but that one's free, so that one doesn't count anyway. In fact, I've only got the outline. I don't even know if they released the new patterns yet, so I need to go look at that. But that is enough from me today. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed my journey on Aurora. I hope you're excited to see what I have next. Because I don't even know what I have next, but it's going to be a very interesting year, year next year. So with that... I will see you guys all tomorrow with hopefully some progress. See ya. Hey guys, Merry Christmas. It is December 25th. No idea what time it is. I think it's about 11 30 12 ish um we have brunch for my mother-in-law's birthday at 2 45 but other than that we don't really have plans for the day except to enjoy our presents um i got good presents i got my switch finally so that's going to take some time away from cross stitching but that's okay i uh, didn't really get any crafty stuff other than a gift card so don't really have a whole lot to show you because I don't think you want to see everything but yeah it was good so I hope you guys all had a good Christmas as well I did finish the thousand stitches on the fairy tale bookshelf by Amy Stewart so I finished up that entire column, which is about that long, or that wide, um, and then started in the next column. So that lantern's almost done, and then this is the start of a book right here. So this took me quite a while because this whole area, almost like each color like only had like two or three stitches in it. So it's got a lot of confetti in that one and then I had to I was getting to the end of some of my threads so I had to end off some of them and then start the new colors that are over here but I like how it's turning out this is not the super size this is just the regular version of it so that's all the stitching I did but I also bought a bullet journal that I'm going to use to track all of my Magical Stitches homework for next year. I've only started it, but I've got the I think this is the ultimate. So we have to stitch the parks so that, sorry I used a glitter pen for this one. Um, so this is all the hotels and how many stitches for each one. And then the second half of it, which is more hotels, the golf courses, and the water parks. 
and traveling from park to park. I forgot that these need to be in 50 stitch increments. Or sorry, not 50, 500. So that's probably going to go in the notes section. Um, otherwise, I would have done like, you know, part one, part two, part three, part four. The good news is that we can stitch whatever project we want for these ones. And they just released the stitch, stitch a book, um, which is where they take the number of pages in the book and you have to stitch each, like a number of stitches for each chapter. And those are also stitch whatever you want. So it's a lot of stitches, but I'm hoping most of them will go in on George Washington. So we'll see kind of how that goes this year. There is a challenge, which is to stitch on specific things for a yearly challenge. I'm already planning on not finishing that one. Um, there's a lot of pieces I don't have, but it, I think it'd be impossible to do all of them anyway. To do all of these ones, which ends up being like, it's almost 200,000 stitches, I think, or over 200. Yeah. Like just the water parks alone are 10,000 stitches for each water park, so. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't think it's, it's possible to finish all of them anyway. So I'm going to try to finish all of these ones. I'm going to try to finish all of the stitch a book ones. Um, but there's just too many. I don't have like, I don't have an Americana piece and you, this is like for the read it or stitch it. And I'm probably not going to read them either just because I don't see a whole lot of reading being done next year because I really want to focus on my stitching, but we'll see. Um, plus there's the, like, start to build the park that you do as a whole group, which is stitch any piece you want for 125 stitches each. I will be doing those and I might stitch a little bit over on those, um, just cause I'll just follow it out until once I get my 125, I'll just kind of keep going until I like find a good stopping point and then just not count, like I'll count the rest for that specific project, but I'm not going to say like any, um, like I'm going to finish 200 or I'm going to finish 300. I'm just going to follow it out until I am either end the thread or end the color or depending on what project I do, like finish the row, just kind of basically when I get a good stopping point and then I'll count those in there. Um, and then we're going to have the weekly challenges as well. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of stitching next year, but that's okay. Especially because a lot of it's whatever project we want. So I'm curious to see what the weekly challenges are like. They haven't told us anything about it yet. Um, it starts as of now in a week. Um, but I have another week after that before I start work again. So I'll be able to kind of, well, not a full week after, but I have a few days after um, to see what the weekly challenges are like and see like kind of get a feel for how they're going. And thinking what's going to happen is I'm going to end up using George Washington for everything that, like basically all the extra credits and things that don't need specific numbers or specific, um, like the weekly ones where you need a specific thing to stitch. And then I'll, just, I'll do all my other projects for those. That way it'll give me kind of a break, but the bulk of the stitches will be in George. So that's my plan for next year. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope everybody has a good Christmas or holiday. We celebrate both Hanukkah and Christmas here. So I hope you have a great holiday or have a great December if you don't celebrate. I'm going to finish off this vlog here and I'm going to see you all in, I was going to say the new year, but it won't be the new year because I will do a whip parade. So I will see you all in a few days for my whip parade. Take care.